So this is um, page 10 in your workbook and um, question number 10. So in this case we're going to be looking at a situation where they haven't filled in the table for you and you've got to work through that. So CAFE records the following information from 400 customers. So that tells me it's total of a total of 400 customers. 250 of them are women. So in the male and female categories I know that I have a total of 250 that are women. And 70 of the male customers order tea. So it's not 70 males total, that's 70 that have ordered tea. So male and ordering tea would be in that category there. 140 females order coffee. So females that ordered coffee would be 140. And 120 people order tea in total. And here we've got one more information. 15 males order a beverage other than tea or coffee. So 15 there. So I'm putting in the information that I know. And now I need to think about working backwards for this. So keeping in mind that I've got a total of 400. So if 250 of them are um, women, 400 minus 250, that should give me 150 for males. So again, total, 150 plus 250 equals 400. And when I go to try and fill in this table, I'm looking for ones where I've got at least two of them already. So for instance here, there's only one thing I don't know. I've got 120 total people that drink tea. 70 of them are male. So that should be the 120 minus 70. What's left after that should be 50. Because again, 70 plus 50 will equal 120. Other bits of information I can fill in now. Well, I know I've got 150 males total, and I've got 70 and 15 here. That's a total of 85. So 150 minus a total of 85, that'll get me to 65. So I know I have 65 males that drink coffee. I'm going to adding that up, 65, 70, and 15 should give me 150. That can give me a total here for coffee drinkers of 65 plus 140. That's 100. Sorry, not 100. That's 205 people. And if I have 400 total, and I've got 205 and 120 already, if I subtract from 400, so 400 minus 205 minus 120, I should get 75, so that's my missing piece there. All three of those should add up to 400. And my last piece here, I know I've got 15 men that are in the other category, 75 total, so the rest must be female, and that's 60. 75 minus 15 gives us 60. So once you have your table filled out, the next thing for us to work on would be um, calculating our probabilities. And again, start with what you know from the problem, read it carefully, and then working backwards, subtracting out and adding together to make sure the totals all balance out. So what is the probability a random customer at that cafe is a male? Well, here I have a total of 150 males out of 400, and that's going to get me 0 0.375. 150 males out of 400 total. What's the probability a random customer orders coffee from the cafe. So here I've got 205 people who ordered coffee total. 205 out of 400. That's going to give you 0 0.513. Part D. That he orders coffee, orders tea given that a random customer at the coffee at the cafe is male. So here we have a given problem. And that's my hint. I know that they're male. So that's the out of. So out of the min, which is 150 total, how many of those order T? And we can see here that 75, sorry, 70 out of 150 are going to order the T, given that we know that they're a male. So that's 0 0.467. So again, you can think about that. I'm looking out of the male category because I know that it's going to be a male. So given that they're a male, What's the probability that they have T? That's 70 out of 150. Question E. What's the probability that a customer does not order tea or coffee given that they are female? So here I've been given information that they're female, so that's my out of. And I know from my table that I've got 250 females. And I'm looking for the probability that they do not order tea or coffee. So they must be the other people, because they're not ordering coffee, they're not ordering tea, they're that other group. So I've got 60 out of 250. 
because my given hint is that they're female, so out of 250, and it's 60 that are ordering something other than tea or coffee. So that's going to be 60 out of 250. If you put that into your calculator, you should get 0 0.24. For part F, that a random customer at the cafe orders a coffee given that he is male. So again here, oops, given here that he is a male, that is my out of, that is my hint. So I know out of the males that there's 150 of them total. What is the probability that out of those 150 he orders a coffee? So if we go back up here, coffees are 65. So 65 out of 150. And if you put that into your calculator, you should get 0 0.433. The last question here, that a random customer is a man given that an other beverage is ordered. So here, given that the other, that's the category that we're looking out of. So from all of these people, what's the probability of them being a man? And that's 15 out of 75. So here, 15 out of 75, and that is going to be equal to 0 0.2. So with these ones, don't forget your givens. That's always going to be the out of, or the bottom part of your fraction, once you figure out which part of the table that is. And then you just look for the ones out of there. So again, given that they ordered something other, that they're a male, so 15 out of 75.